Good morning, everyone. I do hope everybody's feeling fine this morning, feeling well. Starting off the day with something good in their heart. So I'm looking forward to something good as well. Um, <laughs> the one thing that kind of repeats itself with me a lot is certain things that's happened in the past. And uh, I know that none of us could change the past. But the question is, if you could, would you? I told my one of my daughters not too long ago, the other day, not too long ago, I said, if I could go back 20 years, I would. She said she wouldn't. But I think if I could go back 20 years to re, to change the bad things that happened in the past, I would do that. But one thing I don't do is long for some good old days because if the, the good old days were so good, why aren't I, why am I not still living in them? You know, but, um, how about you? If you could go back in time and change some things, would you? You know, can the past even be changed? Hmm. No. <laughs> can if somebody found a formula to change the past or some kind of invention to change the past, please let me know. Because I like to redo the things I did in the past. But I can't. And with that being said, I do my best not to think too much about the past. And that's why I can't let anybody hold me to the past. It's over with. See, when we start dwelling on the past and thinking too much about the past, it causes us to worry. And then worry, you know, one, there's a domino effect. You get one little thought and it turns into a disaster. Goodness gracious. It would actually put you in, it, it put you in your grave if it could. So, longing for something that's old, longing to redo something, we can't. We can't change the past, you know. Um, we can't even worry about what was old. We can't even worry about what's new. Matthew 6 and 27 tells us who, who can add one cubit to their stature by worrying. I know I can't. Uh, worrying causes a lot of problems. It causes skin <laughs> disorders. Well, it exasperates the skin disorders. I've been doing my best not to worry about things, but I, re I realize there's, there's some things that's on my mind that's not causing me to worry, but I realize that when I think about it too much, it does cause my skin to react. Now, if I could change anything, go back to that day, seven years old, when I discovered that I had this eczema, this mess. If I could change that, I would change that in a heartbeat. And I would not wish that on no one, my worst enemy or anyone, because having something on your skin that's reactive and continually wants to try to stop you from doing things is so annoying. It's ridiculous. I guess it's just like any disease, but when it's on your, your the surface of your skin, like my hands, you know, they bear the scars. They bear the scars <laughs> of the eczema for years past. But anyhow, can't change none of that. Do my best to keep moving forward, finding different remedies. I don't particularly care for medications too much. So I'm I'm just trying. I'm just constantly trying. But do I really long for the good old days? No. Do I long to change the bad old days? If I could, I would. But I can't. None of us can change the past. The past is just what it is in the past. So I'm looking forward to good to the good old days. You know, <laughs> I remember these songs, uh, this song by Tyrone Davis called, um, oh, uh, um, <sighs> if he could turn back the hands of time. And it was a relationship that he had left or they had broke up or whatever. And he was longing to have that woman back. And he, boy, he speaks about it too. But, um, Nah, I don't wish that I could go back and go back into the old days. I can't change the past. I don't long for anything in the, in behind me. I long for all the new good things that's in front of me. And I'm looking forward to, and I have expectations of them as well. So I'm hoping and praying that whatever any of you all who watch this have anything in the past that has hurt you so bad or... That was so great that you don't long for that to be changed, but you work on changing it or creating 
changing the bad things and creating the good things to come because they will come. You just got to put your best foot forward and just keep moving forward. And even when things come to try to knock you, of course, like my skin reacting as often as it possibly can, I'm not going to give into it anymore. There was a time that when it would happen, I would fall away from everything, but it wasn't the right thing to do. I should have stayed in my ministries. I should have continued to walk and do the things that I had always done and stay positive and just allow contentment to get me where and and hope and faithfulness to get me where I really wanted to go, but I didn't. So don't allow what's going on to stop you from creating the good things. Even when something negative happens, just keep getting up and moving forward. So have a great day today, everyone. God bless you. Be intentional. Um, do your best not to stress. What has happened in the past is in the past. It's over with. You, We cannot change it. We can't. No matter what we do, the only thing we can do is create better. Want better and create better and just keep moving forward to do that and recognize what you have done wrong and change that part. <laughs> okay. So have a great day. Bless you all. <laughs> Bye.